during AACR 2023, I had the opportunity to present the results of the Aegean study. Uh, the Aegean was a randomized phase three global randomized study comparing the benefits of dervalumab given in the perioperative setting, meaning given as neoadjuvant therapy with chemotherapy and then as adjuvant therapy afterwards, uh, as compared to just neoadjuvant chemotherapy alone in resectable non-small cell lung cancer. For the first time here, we asked the question if we give perioperative therapy, combining the benefits of both uh, neoadjuvant and adjuvant immunotherapy, whether there'd be a benefit. So to address this, we conducted this randomized study. It was a total of 802 patients that were randomized. They were stage two to 3B non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, those with EGFR and ALK mutations were excluded from the analysis. And patients received either dervalumab in chemotherapy or placebo in chemotherapy every three weeks for four cycles. Then they underwent surgery. And then they had either dervalumab or placebo every four weeks for a total of, of 12 cycles. The majority of patients were stage three, uh, about 71%. And half of the patients had N2 nodal disease, uh, which was either single station uh, or multi-station. So the first primary result of the study uh, was uh, event-free survival or EFS. And there is statistically significant improvement in EFS was seen. Hazard ratio was 0.68, corresponding to a 32% reduction in the likelihood of, of EFS being uh, progression, recurrence, uh, or, or death from any cause. Uh, so that was statistically significant. The benefit was observed across all subgroups. The benefit was slightly larger for PDL1, greater than 50%, but it was still observed in PDL1 less than 1%, with a hazard ratio of 0.76. It was observed across all stages, although the benefit was larger in stage 3A disease. Second primary endpoint was pathologic complete response. This was also positive, 17% in the dervalumab arm versus 4% uh, in the placebo arm, so a difference of 13%. There was also a difference of 21% in the major pathologic response, 33% uh, versus uh, 12%. Um, in terms of adverse events, rate greed three or four adverse events were actually quite similar between the arms, about 42% in both arms. So uh, in summary, uh, this is the first randomized placebo-controlled study testing perioperative immunotherapy for resectable non-small cell lung cancer. It showed a statistically significant improvement in both EFS and pathologic complete response. Benefit was widely observed, regardless of stage, PDL1 level, or whether you got cisplatin or carboplatin uh, as your chemotherapy regimen. And the safety profile was uh, quite manageable, consistent with what we already know about the drugs. So, based on those results, uh, we believe this Aegean study represents a new potential treatment for early stage resectable non-small cell lung cancer.